Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here, and today we're looking at our population histogram question that we're going to be answering here on our slideshow with one of our three choices. Um, our histogram we're going to break down here along with the question we're looking to answer. We will pause the video as we come back to our slideshow to answer it. And of course, we'll unpause the video to then look at not only the answer, but how we use the key concept to answer it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're looking to solve. If you're looking at the histogram in front of you or set of histograms, we again have a pair of histograms that deal with the number of cheetahs and those cheetahs have a specific feature we're focusing on and that is spot size. And we're looking at 10 different traits from small spots to large spots with two different populations. Now with those histograms, we are looking to answer the question, which histogram has a larger variation of cheetahs with different spots? So looking at our histograms for one and two, we need to decide does number one have a larger variation of cheetahs with different spots? Does number two, or do they have the same variation of cheetahs with different spots? Go ahead and make your answer, or select your answer, uh, pause the video, and then unpause it when you're ready to go over the answer. All right, do we think we got it? Let's go ahead and take a look. When we look at our histograms here, we first need to know that a population can be described by the traits present and by the number of individuals who have those traits. So we know, looking at our two histograms here, we have 10 possible variations, but in this first histogram, each blue bar represents the number of individuals with that trait. So we have individuals with spot number two, individuals with spot number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight variations, eight different variations. Now, yes, we have more cheetahs with some variations like five and six than others like two and 10, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight variations total. When we compare that to histogram number two, we look to see again, we have the same 10 possible variations, but we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variations that actually have bars or actually have a distribution. Yes, eight and nine are large, and yes, two and three are low. Yes, we're missing one and two and 10, but again, we're looking at the number of individuals with each of these different traits. So we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variations. So which histogram has a larger variation of cheetahs? Well, that would be histogram number one. It has eight variations and number two has seven variations. So do we get it right? Congratulations. If not, make sure you reach out if you have any questions.